In public schools across the state, as many as 500 students are identified as transgender. That's according to the advocacy group Gender Benders, which says the president's decision to withdraw federal protections puts transgender students at risk. It's really scary, and his track record so far is really scary. Um, and I don't know what group is going to be under attack next, but it's pretty clear that he's going to continue to attack marginalized groups. Hill says regardless of the president's latest action, transgender students are still protected under Title IX, which bans discrimination in educational settings. But Superintendent Molly Spearman, who applauds President Trump for recognizing that this is best handled on the state and local level, says she'll continue to work with schools, parents, and communities to ensure that every student has a safe environment in which they can learn. Fletcher Page is cautiously optimistic. They know that trans students are at a high, high risk for suicide, for bullying, for harassment, and I believe um, that, that we will move past this and we will move forward. Still, many are waiting for the case of a Virginia teen who sued their school district after being barred from using the boys' bathroom to be heard by the U.S. Supreme Court before declaring an end to the debate over bathrooms.